Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Xbox On. We all know that it's easier and cheaper to play the games we love wherever we are thanks to services like Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Play Anywhere. But with the release of iOS 13 on Apple devices, it just got a little bit better. Did you know that you can link your iOS or Android device to your Xbox wireless Bluetooth controller? As well as being a great way to play, it'll give you a taste of what's to come whilst we wait for the release of Project X Cloud. Before Microsoft's new service kicks off, we're going to look at some of the top titles that you can play with your controller on your mobile phone. But first, let's look at how to get it all set up and ready to go. Any Xbox Bluetooth wireless controller made since the Xbox One S launch will work with iOS 13 or Android. Meaning if you own an Xbox One S or X, you will likely have a controller that does the trick already. Turn your controller on as you would normally by holding down the Xbox button. Once lit, hold down the wireless pairing button on top of the controller until the Xbox button begins to flash. The same as you would if you were connecting it to your Xbox console. Head to your device's Bluetooth settings and select your controller from the list. Once connected, the light on the Xbox button will remain solid and lit up. Now that's out of the way, it's time for the good bit, the games. It's no surprise that one of the biggest games on the planet right now is the first one we're looking at. Fortnite for your tablet and smartphone is a dream come true for those who are always on the move, but suffers from the issues many gamers find when trying to play a fast-paced action title on mobile. Controls on mobile devices are intuitive yet finicky when in a competitive environment, but now thanks to your controller you can build circles around your online opponents. Well, squares. Well, cubes, you get the idea. Fortnite even offers up cross-save across mobile and your Xbox One console, meaning you can take your Battle Pass progress, skins and stats with you wherever you go. Happy building. And now's the perfect time to hop into it with the launch of Chapter 2. If fast-paced mobile shooters aren't your thing and you long for a piece of portable paradise far from any sniper or battle bus, then you'll be happy to know that Stardew Valley is now also compatible with your Xbox One controller on iOS and Android devices. Set in the sleepy Pelican town, your task as an ambitious young farmer is to turn your grandfather's old farm into a bustling business full of livestock, crops and everything in between. Complete quests, craft, cook and fish till your heart is content, all with the comfort of one of the most advanced controllers in the world in the palm of your hand. Minecraft on mobile has been a staple of both Android and iOS devices, with the blocky bonanza setting the standard for large-scale fun on your smaller devices. Much like Fortnite, Minecraft offers cross-save for your Xbox One and mobile devices. It's also cross-play enabled, meaning you can jump in with your friends on Xbox and PC to continue your adventures together. Minecraft and your Xbox One controller are made for each other, so having the ability to link the two together on your mobile device means those precision pickaxe swings, block placements and arrow shots feel better than ever, and you never have to spend time away from your realm. It's not a mobile collection without a top-tier side-scroller to sink your teeth into. So it's great to see that Dead Cells on mobile now supports Xbox One controllers. Described as a roguelike Castlevania inspired action platformer, you take control of a failed experiment traversing a procedurally generated castle in the hopes of finding out just what happened. Tons of combat equipment, tough battles, diverse exploration and even permadeath play a part in this brilliant title. I can promise many deaths, but you might just get a little further every single time. There are a bunch of timeless classics now available to play on your mobile devices, and few are more iconic than the slithery, splody carnage of Worms 4. Optimized for mobile, your bazooka strikes and hand grenade tosses will cause even more damage than ever when you link up your Xbox One controller. Super handy when you're taking on players around the globe in intense 1v1 multiplayer combat.
If you're looking for a little something different with your dungeon crawlers, then the Binding of Isaac Rebirth for iOS devices may be the one to play. There really is no respite for poor Isaac on his quest through the dungeons lurking below his house, dealing with the strange creatures he finds on his journeys and that whole mum trying to murder him business. Mobile players get a whole bunch of content to sink their teeth into, including more than 500 hours of gameplay, 20 brand new challenge runs and over 450 items to help you on your way. All made easier with your Xbox One controller to hand. See Isaac? It's not all bad news. Building on the impressive selection of 2D platformers available for use with an Xbox wireless controller on mobile is Shantae and the Seven Sirens, which continues the adventure of the hair-whipping half-genie in a bid to help her friends by conquering the deadly landscape and enemies that lie within. The Shantae series has a beautiful feel and art style that works across all platforms but certainly feels the best with a controller. Limbo. It's both where I am emotionally whilst waiting for xCloud to drop and also one of the best puzzle platformers to grace our screens. Those screens include our mobiles and tablets, which means it's also getting Xbox One controller compatibility. You take control of an unnamed boy in his travels through a black and white world filled with puzzles, intrigue and one hell of a scary spider. Limbo was originally released back in 2010, but has set a high bar for puzzle platforming on any device through its unique use of environment, perspective and atmosphere. Everyone needs a good racing game to take with them on the go, so it may as well be the latest official F1 title on mobile. F1 Mobile Racing is compatible with your Xbox One controller and offers up many of the features you might recognize from its console counterpart, along with several designed just for mobile devices. Choose from official F1 vehicles or build and upgrade your own as you take opponents in multiplayer, 1v1 duels or in the Grand Prix themselves, all with the comfort of your Xbox One controls. Much easier than gluing your phone to your steering wheel. I learned that the hard way. Rounding off our list is the pocket edition of the game with a title that serves both as solid advice and a sign of things to come, that being Don't Starve. Traverse the dark and dreary world of Don't Starve for as long as you can, building up your resources and equipment whilst maintaining your hunger, health and most importantly, sanity. There is a lot to explore and consider, so having an Xbox controller makes it that little bit easier and each new world is different with a new set of challenges to keep you on your toes. That's just a handful of the games now compatible on iOS and Android with an Xbox One wireless Bluetooth controller. Don't forget there are a bunch of other great Xbox titles available on mobile that you can still play without controller support. My personal favourite being the RTS Chaos of Gears Pop. You can even log into the Xbox app and use the party chat function to chat to friends whilst you play on the go. It's all a great little taste of things to come in the build up to Project xCloud and I for one can't wait to get stuck in. Remember you can still sign up to the Project xCloud preview using the link in the description below. So there we have it, just a handful of games you can play on your iOS and Android devices right now with an Xbox One wireless controller. Do make sure to let us know down in the comments below if there's any that we've missed and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you next time. Bye.